Welcome to its tomorrow news. I am Hena Talati. Severe thunderstorms and wind gusts exceeding 60 miles per hour are likely in the United States. This week, a significant escalation in the potential for the severe thunderstorms looms over the central regions of the United States, stretching from Texas through the Midwest and up to the Great Lakes. Millions of the residents are on high alert preparing for the onslaught of yet another multi-day bout of the severe weather. Commencing on Tuesday with its focal point in Missouri, the impending threat gradually intensifies morphing into the widespread concern by Thursday. This expansive weather system will cast its shadow over the tens of millions of the individuals spanning from the vibrant cityscape of Dallas to the bustling urban sprawl of the Chicago area. The looming threat of the severe weather carries with it the potential for the significant impacts with any of this tempest having the capacity to unleash large hailstones and damaging wind gusts exceeding speeds of 60 miles per hour. Such formidable forces of the nature underscore the importance of vigilance and preparedness among the communities vulnerable to the wrath of the, these storms. Meanwhile, a backcountry skiers had died on the New Hampshire's Mount Washington in the icy conditions, officials said on Sunday. At least two people were rescued during the surge that extended through the stormy night and into the Sunday morning. The United States Forest Service identified the skier who died as a Madison Saltberg. She fell about 600 vertical feet 183 meters on Saturday afternoon in very stiff terrain and hard icy conditions. Others were also injured Saturday including two people who sustained traumatic injuries from the rocks and ice, the service said in a statement. The three people got into trouble Saturday afternoon at the Tuckerman Ravine, an area popular with the backcountry skiers, according to the officials. Two of the people suffered injuries that were not life-threatening before rescue efforts began. That's all for now. For more weather news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.